I'm Eric, and this is a workflow demonstration of using RepoPrompt to engineer multi-file edits that are quite complex, and using O1 Pro and getting the most out of your existing subscriptions without having to pay for a new one that just focuses on upcharging you for API usage. So RepoPrompt is a tool, if you're not familiar, that makes it super easy to find all the files you want to work with, engineer um, a robust prompt that focuses on what your task is using saved prompts, like you can see here, where we can set up different roles and different um, you know, qualifiers. Like I can say I'm working specifically on repo prompt, which tells me about the stack. It's a Swift Mac OS in the app. I've got this engineer prompt, which focuses on you know, specific output instructions. And so what I did here is I went ahead and set up a prompt and ran it through O1 Pro. So this is for a new blog feature. Um, so it took three minutes. So I didn't want to show that in the video because O1 Pro is quite slow. But see here, it basically went through and designed the, the whole feature as I requested it, um, all the files here. And uh, it specified which files are to modify and do this. So this is already a great way to work and I can easily using this just paste back in. Um, but what we wanna show here is a little bit about how I use um, the apply feature, uh, which a lot of folks on my Discord, on the repo prompt Discord have been asking about. So first of all, um, so we won't, once we set up this prompt, like there's multiple ways to go about it. Um, so I could have, if I really wanted to, gone through with this XML whole prompt and that would have, XML formatted all of the features right away for me. Um, but what I find when I'm working, and this is a little bit unfortunate, um, is that you want the AI to kind of have fewer restrictions in its output when it's writing new features. So the way that we can do this um, once we've sorted this out, so we've got this whole um, feature set here that we're working with. Great. So what I want to do here is go into the apply tab. I've got all these files selected. I can paste in here all of the AI's output here. And as we're going to look here, we've got a diff and a whole format that we can use. And of course, now this is available here as well, if I want to specify this right from the Compose tab. Um, and what this will do uh, once I have the, the diff format selected is I can go ahead and open a new tab here. We're going to select 01 because 01 is a little bit faster. Um, and I'm going to paste in this prompt. Um, and what this is doing is basically it includes all of the files that I've been working with. Um, and it also wraps it with um, an, an XML formatting uh, guidelines for the AI. So basically, it's telling the AI, here are all the files that we need to create. So this is, is all basically, so it's all different files here. Um, and, and it's helping modify existing ones. So we've got some here using search replace, where we can go ahead and make specific modifications. Um, and see, that's very concise. So the O1 model was able to basically figure out all the changes needed um, from the robust, well-written spec that O1 Pro wrote, and we're able to go ahead and copy this, or just hit uh, copy this because it's all in one nice code block, and we can paste that in, uh, and then see, we can see all the changes that we wanted to make. So let's hit merge, um, and we can go ahead and see the different files. So these are the, the changes being requested, um, the diff is quite concise here. So we can go ahead and accept all, and then we've got that new feature integrated. So that's one way of working with it. And the reason that I, like I said, like to have an engineer prompt go ahead and compose things first and then go into O1 to merge is just for accuracy, especially if you're working with large edits. Um, but you know, you don't have to do that. So we can try the same thing here and go directly uh, to diff. So let's show that. So if we enable that diff mode here, let's turn off some of our other prompts because we don't want to distract the AI with our prompt here. So we can go ahead and try that again. Let's just go straight to 01. Um, and, and we're going to go here. And basically what it's going to do is it's going to look at our existing files. It's going to look at our file tree um, and look at the prompt. And it's going to do the whole task end to end um, and make it very possible to merge things in. So we'll let that work. And while it's doing that, we can show another workflow here where we're doing the same thing and I'm gonna have Claude go ahead and do the edit. So let's go here, do new AI chat, proceed. It's gonna paste um, my prompt into the chat and then I can go ahead and hit send. Um, actually, before I do that, let's, uh, let's uh, go ahead and use the pro edit mode. So let's try that again with the pro edit mode. And what that's going to do is it's going to split up the modify tasks into different editing tasks. Um, so the create tasks, those are, are being done 
um, by the, the main model here. Um, and okay, so while that's completing here, actually, let's just look through what it did. So it did the create, um, perfect. Uh, it's doing delegate edits. So this is the key feature here that uh, the pro edit mode will do is that it basically describes edits in a concise way and it uses placeholders um, and it helps smaller models like Gemini Flash go ahead and make the edits here. So you can see all the edits there. So it rewrote some files here. That's because of Gemini um, and it created the, the different blog files there. Great. Um, so let's go back here to apply and I'm going to look at this XML here. So great. So O1 created a robust XML. Uh, it did it all in one shot. And it was basically, it chose to do some rewrites here. I think that's because we had already merged in the changes before. So yeah, I just did some cleanup of the existing feature. Um, didn't do too much uh, other than that, some small changes here. But that's the main workflow, right? So um, you're basically taking your prompt. Uh, we can add some qualifiers for the diff instructions. Um, and go straight there, or we can use some of our existing prompts like engineer or architect to plan out changes that are more complex, and then just have O1 create the changes first, and then we use the apply tab to paste those changes in, and then copy that back in to do robust edits. So I know that like this multi-step thing can be a little tedious, but um, if you're someone who wants to think about your features very thoroughly before you go ahead and implement them, this flow lets you do that in a way that is, you know, both accurate and robust. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's the main thing. So we've got our different flows. There's compose, we got uh, our safe prompts, the file tree helps the AI get sorted on what your directory structure looks like. Um, and yeah, and also another thing that we do support now is the ability to go in tabs. So I can set up multiple workspaces here. So I've got this website here and this is my app, but what I can also do is open a new one here, open up um, my folder again. This is repo prompt that I work on. I can go ahead and expand everything or compress everything. And I can select my own features here uh, to work on. So if I wanna work on some views, um, I can work on them. Um, kind of independently um, of of another feature that I'm working on over here where I'm working on different views and different files. So being able to like tackle tasks in parallel is something that O1 Pro does really well because you can spin up many uh, tasks at the same time. Um, and doing this allows you to, to be very productive um, while thinking through all the tasks that you need to do. It does take some thinking to do, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite a workout. So thank you so much for listening and I hope this was instructive to you.